official development assistance ODA, is financial aid provided by governments and other official agencies of wealthy or, or developed countries to support the economic development of developing countries. The claimed primary goal of ODA, to promote economic development and improve living conditions in developing countries. This includes efforts to reduce poverty, improve healthcare, enhance education, build infrastructure, and support governance and institutional development. ODA can also support emergency relief efforts and pandemics. The money for ODA primarily comes from public taxes, collected by the governments of developed countries. In short, you go to work to pay for the development of foreign nations with contracts decided by people you may not agree with or have voted for. These funds are allocated as part of the national budget for foreign aid and international development. The funds are distributed through the official agencies of these governments, such as United States Agency for International Development in the United States or Department for International Development in the United Kingdom. In addition to publicly paid for bilateral aid from one country to another, ODA can also be channeled through multilateral institutions like the World Bank, United Nations, or regional development banks, which pool resources from multiple countries to fund development projects. There are multiple types of ODA. They include publicly funded grants and non-repayable funds provided to developing countries for specific projects or general budget support. Loans provided at below market interest rates, often with long repayment periods. These loans are typically more favorable than what the recipient country could obtain from commercial lenders. Technical assistance, support in the form of expertise, knowledge transfer, and training to help build capacity in developing countries. It is claimed ODA funds are typically directed to countries most in need, such as least developed countries (LDCs), small island developing states (SIDs), and landlocked developing countries (LLDCs). The allocation of ODA be guided by the recipient country's development strategies and plans, often outlined in cooperation with the donor country or international organizations. Donor countries may also prioritize specific sectors like healthcare, education, or infrastructure. Based on their own strategic interests or global development priorities, the effectiveness of ODA is being monitored through various international mechanisms, such as the Development Assistance Committee (DAC) of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development (OICD), which tracks and reports on ODA flows and outcomes. Recipient countries are also typically involved in monitoring how ODA is spent. To ensure it aligns with their development goals and produces the intended results, ensuring that ODA is effectively used and reaches the most vulnerable populations is a point that requires special attention due to issues like corruption. There is ongoing debate about the best ways to provide ODA, including how to balance immediate humanitarian needs with long-term development goals. In summary, ODA is a mechanism. By which wealthier nations funnel public taxes to poorer nations, the funding primarily comes from the wages from the work you do, which is then taken from you by means of taxes collected in developed countries, decided by politicians, regardless if you vote for them or not. These same politicians, often described as pigs in troughs for their repeat wastage and mismanagement of public taxes, decide who gets the business contracts paid for by you.